ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Bill Dotson and Alex Parsley. What's up? Alex is in the house today. Hey. I guess we have to explain to people kind of what's going on here because this is homegrown history. This is the mm. very first time that people have seen this beautiful face of Mr. In Alex years. Parsley. Your in years. Gone. Years. I had long Every- hair back then. I forget when the last episode of Fox and Friends was. Uh, it's been a while. 2019? Mm. Something like that. Something but, like it. But like every podcast, you know, usually the producer is in the room with the host. And like it kind of mm. creates like a cool dynamic. Like two people's fun, but three people's a party. Oh, yeah. It's, you know, we're a tripod in here. We got this. Exactly. And, that. and, and uh, that's what we're doing today. And I think, I think it's going to, I think the look yeah. is pretty good. It's going to be pretty cool. Yeah. And, and we have a lot more stuff planned. So this is just something we kind of like threw together real quick. You've been here through the entire he process. The process. He, he's yeah, been he here for the, the last two and a half hours, I however am. long it took <laughs> us to set this up. But uh, yeah, this is cool, man. So, uh, Thanks for coming in, dude. Thank you for yeah. having me. Live action, baby. We got it right here. Yeah, right there. Woo. We're doing it. Did you ever? Uh, everybody around here has met Turtle Man. Have you met Turtle Man? I have not. You got to meet Turtle Man, didn't you? No. Nah. Turtle oh. Man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Live action. My friend posted a comment on. Uh, actually, excuse me. It was a it was a status on Facebook, and his wife was giving birth. To what? the first kid. Oh. And the status. <laughs> I thought you were talking about like a, he went like Facebook live face, or something. It was a like Facebook that. status and it was a picture of her and she looked really upset and she was really in pain. And it just had him smiling and it said live action on it. <laughs> Dude, she probably divorced him, took the kid. Bro. It was bad. Dude. Man. I was, at least I thought you were talking about he went like Facebook Live or something well, with be, it. Yeah, I mean, now that is. if listen, second child around, if he wants to up the ante, yeah. you know, the dude needs to go for it. Just go ahead and do it. I'm excited because I just want to let everybody know I'm almost a hundred thousand on TikTok. Go follow me on TikTok, everybody out there, please go follow me. Build out some music. Thank you. Yeah, I'm that, live right now. So. That is crazy. Like, feel like you were, you were telling me last time that you came in here, like you were big on TikTok. I had never been on there. I was like, I, I just, mm-hmm. I, I took your word for it, you know. But then I, I made a TikTok and I see your videos on there, and dude, you, your views are astronomical. It's yeah. crazy, dude. It is wild. <laughs> like, like I, I underestimated how popular you were on there. I was like, it's, dude, it's Bill's so getting it. One video dude. hit three point nine million, and it was about a donut. But that's it. Literally, I, Dunkin' Donuts came on and like did this whole deal where they get rid of their old donuts at night and just like you know put them in the trash can. And then I took a video duetting that with my daughter and said, "Go get the flashlight. We're going to get some." I remember that. And it was one. so funny. It ended up going viral, man. So I, I it's so random, just random stuff to go viral. My Which, friend's uh, video went viral yesterday. It's crazy. It's it, it's it's a weird platform. You got mm-hmm. TikTok, yeah. right? Yeah. I, Are I you following me, bro? Yeah. You're following me? Yeah, I've oh. seen your lives for They're popping. He said they're popping, man. They're popping, man. I'm glad we got him in That's here. That's that cool dude. lingo, man. I got you, bro. Can we talk about this nice guy over here? He's going to be doing some cool work for us over here today, too. This dude right here, he is... <clears throat> this is the bee's knees right here. How long have you been? Five years, right? Five years here? Uh, four. Four years? April 20th, made four years. Yeah, he got here on April 20th. April 20th. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. When I was 17. Put those... Yeah, <laughs> it's nice to have three people when you're just hanging out and just conversating. Anyway. This this dude right here is my best friend, man. Like not 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 only is he like an awesome coworker and mm-hmm. stuff like that, but I mean like really like a best friend. We've had some wild times together. Yeah. Like yeah, we we can't say a lot of it on air. <laughs> I, I'll tell you some stories off air. Yeah, for sure. But uh, yeah, man. Like not not only is he a great producer, but he also he also does music too. He's really? music DJ yeah, all yeah. type stuff. You're a DJ. Yeah. S- what's your, hold on. What's your DJ? DJ? S- Silk, silky, slicky, slicky. His That's name so is DJ I've, Slicky. Uh, I've, I've, no, DJ just, Slicky. It's just it's Slicky, right? Six oh six of that eight oh eight. Yeah, that, that's his nah. dude. I'm telling you, like this this man, like he's he's a creative genius. He don't give himself enough credit. That's why I wanted him up here so bad. I'm just it, the background character. Man. He's but, an entrepreneur. Th- but we also have some wild conversations too. Like like we'll go on these like wild rants, and I'm like, man, we need to get you on the podcast. We and, get out there. And finally, we made it happen because there's some weird stuff going on nowadays, man. Yes, sir. Have you seen all the UFO stuff they're talking about? We were, me and him were watching videos on it earlier. I watch little to no TV, but. Basically, TV is your phone now. Yeah, yeah. So, that is, or yes, YouTube. I don't even have cable. 
I just have internet. Yeah. I don't think anybody here has cable. You got cable? No. No. So point is, yes, I've seen some of that, and uh, it's really scary. What you do you know? What do you think it is? What date are they coming out with the information? June first. Okay, so everybody out there, <laughs> We're June the first. <laughs> please listen up. Uh, apparently, allegedly. <laughs> The government is going to release some information on June the 1st uh, pertaining to alien UFO sighting and a lot of information the public does not know. Anywhere from three to 5,000 documents. Yes, and that's a lot. And it might freak people out, but it might cause mass hysteria. (laughs) Maybe not. I don't know. I don't think it's aliens, man. (laughs) I don't know. I'm not one of those dudes. I I want so hard to be. I I want it to be aliens so bad. But I just know that it's... More than likely, just some top secret information, some top secret technology that they have that they're working on. Because, I mean, listen, dude, Einstein was working with transportation in the 40s. Right. You know, we're That's almost true. 100 years past that. Yeah. Like, Im- imagine what they've had since then, you mm-hmm. know? The, 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 the What was it? The Philadelphia Experiment? I yes. think that's what it was yes. called, where they made the ship disappear. Mm-hmm. Yes. That happened. I mean, that, we don't know what happened, but we know some weird stuff Something was happened. going on. Exactly. That whole situation and, and I mean, I, like, Well, Tesla, when did Tesla die? I mean, that was like in the 70s or 80s Probably or something like that. Something like that man. So, I mean, uh, who knows what they have. But the, the, the stuff that they... Uh, Oh, 1943. Sorry Yes, about that. a long way away. But still, it does make – it's a really good point. But I feel like there are – Who knows are, what though. they have? You but, don't know. But, but, but it's no weird, way. though, because, man, the videos are crazy. What was the one that we were watching? It said it went from like 80,000 feet to right above sea level in above, less than a second. above sea level in less than a second, yeah. yeah. That's and, crazy. And, 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 and there and it hovered. And didn't it like go into the water, too? That's what they mentioned. Uh, I, I it think. went into the water. It changed the color of the water, even. Here's, yeah. the, here's the question. Well, okay. Wait, 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 wait. How? Yeah, well, right. it gets even crazier. So, uh, Commander Fravor, uh, anybody that wants to uh, check more about this out, watch the 60 Minutes documentary piece that they've yeah. done on it. Mm. That is the best media coverage of this incident that I've seen so far. So, uh, Commander Fravor apparently was going at this thing. He wanted to get close to it. Mm-hmm. And he says that it just looked right up at him and started going towards him like they were mirroring, mirroring each other. And then, like, at the last second, he said it just disappeared. And they're That's wondering, creepy, dude. Well, no, and then they're yeah. like wondering, like, well, what happened to it? And just a few seconds later, one of their ships picked it up sixty miles away. That's crazy on radar. Man. That's nuts. Yeah, man. sixty miles away, and in, in a few seconds. I don't know. I love conspiracy. I think it's interesting. I think the whole topic pertaining to any like Marilyn Monroe, or we're talking about the Bermuda Bermuda Triangle. We're talking about. Um, you know, the whole Roswell thing, yeah. anything like that. I think it's very interesting. Yeah, it, it, if you it, don't believe in UFOs, I ain't going to hate on you. Well, no, no, I, 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 I want that possibility to be real, and right. it still is a possibility. I'm look, I'm just trying to look at, like, what more than likely it is. But my second guess is aliens. I mean, it's either top-secret government technology or yeah. it's aliens. And where did I they mean, get the, that from? Like, if I was in 1945 and I had a cell phone like I'm on right now and I walked up to someone, what would happen? They would lose their mind, but right. but but Not, why? Yeah, but but what I think is because it's so foreign to them. Yes, dude, that's what I'm saying. It's weird. Yep. You could do anything. What, what, uh, well, that also like opens up conversations about time travel. What mm. if like we're not? What if it's not aliens? What if it's just human beings from the future? What if they figure it mm. out in twenty thirty two and they're like, hey, let's go to twenty twenty one and mess with some people or something like that? It's right. I mean, who knows? This universe is so weird that my mind is wide open to the possibility of anything. Like I'm not, yeah, I'm not really far out there, but I'm not so quick to dismiss anybody's. Thought. Are you a fact checker thing. when it comes to things? Like, you really want, like, facts. You know? I want facts. And you, you want have to have proof have, in the pudding. You, you know have to I mean? bring me facts. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, and, and, cause I mean, just you, there's so many people out there that are full mm-hmm. of it. And that's unfortunately probably four fifths of the stories that you hear out there. Yeah. But every once in a while, you have that person, like, like Bob Lazar is the best example of somebody who knows something. I don't know if his story is 100% right, but that dude, he's seen something. And also the commander for like, these incidents right here, the Pentagon has to release something on June 1st. I wonder like, what I mean, it's it, going it, to be. It's, what is it's your thought on it? weird. What do you think it is? Like, I, just one couple words. Tell me I what think, do you I, think. Well, I think, that it's, I think that it's government technology because also, I mean, we're, we're also naive to think that we're the only ones with great technology. Mm-hmm. I mean, most of the NASA 
was produced with German scientists, right. not American. Right. Yeah, that's German. Really, that's the interesting thing. Yeah. Right. And, and also, I mean, China, they're – look at Japan. What are they on, like the iPhone 15? Talking about, you're talking I about mean, China? Yeah, well, China. China. Them China. and Japan, all those countries over there, they're very technologically advanced, and also Russia as well. So, I mean, who knows what other countries may have, too. I just don't feel like in my head, in my thought on it, that we came up with all this technology on a whim. It came from somewhere that we have copied or somewhere we have manifested their product, making it into our own, and that's how I feel. Well, there's, there's no way that we came up with an iPhone. Well, see, I, see yeah. I, I've thought about... We can GPS somebody in the middle of nowhere. We can do... I mean, there's a million things. Red heat sensors. I mean, a million things, I can tell yeah. you. I, I, thought of, mm. I thought about how we got so advanced so fast. And one thing that kind of makes sense to me whenever it comes to that is, you know, just technology in general. The, the invention of the telephone, the yep. invention of travel in general and communication opened so many doors and yeah. we were able to share ideas and work with each other yeah, so I can quickly see that too yeah yeah so i mean yeah. maybe that has something to do with it too that's just me trying to be rational but but i also know how big space is right and how it's endless how big, how big we're a speck of dust <laughs> yeah exactly we're doing alien stuff right now we just landed on an asteroid the other day right, that can, bruce yeah. willis we bruce willis it up bro yeah I mean, Don't I, close that, my eyes. that actually happened so i mean what? who knows You're what kidding. who knows what else is out there we armageddon it up we landed on a huh. asteroid yeah, for real. I didn't yeah. know this well, we, well, we yeah. didn't land it. We kind of like tagged it. Like uh, it got some samples. I think it got like six grams samples or something like that. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's what they said on the news. Right? <laughs> six grams of that yo, asteroid yo, yo, for yo, three thousand. What that asteroid does, bro? All right. That's but funny. but not like for Straight real. Th th this actually <laughs> happened. So I mean, who knows what else is out there? The universe. We don't know how old it is. We we're we dumb. We're, we're still a very we dumb species. And, and I feel if, if there is a UFO or there's an alien that we're going to hear about, there was something or there has been something, or Roswell is real, any of that happened, that my opinion is if we're not that smart, I'm sorry. No, we're stupid. They, no offense, but I mean, we do have smart people in this world, but compared, if they can get here from wherever they're from, think about it for a minute. Yeah. How smart do they have to be? How much technical, technically, like how much technology did they have? Exactly. Right. You know, compared to us. So I think we I think we took what they had, we used it. We're using pieces of glass that have a logic board on it and talking to people in Lithuania and Cincinnati and Tanzania. And right. it's weird yeah. because in 1960, 70, you'd be like, dude, what is going on right now? You know yeah. what I'm saying? In my opinion, I feel like that we got it from other places. There's no way we could have come up with all this. Cars that drive on their own. Heat seeking missiles. Yeah. I mean um, it, it's I I'm gonna I, Harry Potter it up and get a visible cloak next, man. We're gonna be <laughs> I mean, they they have they have stuff like that. I feel like they have stuff already. like that. Yeah, it, it's a it, it's basically like a mirror. They use like uh, like the the movie, not Hollow Man, but the, the Invisible Man, the one that came out. Did you yeah. see that? I haven't seen it, but yeah. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. They they have technology though that kind of like it it'll hide you. It's not great, right. you know, but it, but mm. it's 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 pretty good. They have crazy stuff out there, and aliens. Like I'm not trying to say that aliens don't exist. I do believe aliens exist. Right. I just don't and. It, it may very well be, but I don't think that the government's going to come out and tell everybody, hey, aliens exist. <laughs> hey, this, baby. Hey, we've been <laughs> keeping it from, 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 from you for years. Like, yeah, yeah. They're, they're not just going to come out and say it. Like, this, it's not going to happen. Right. It will, look, people said that there was a toilet paper shortage. And yeah, that was man. hell on earth. Can we talk I, about the gas the shortage, gas too? Thing. What the yeah, heck it, happened there, exactly. selling dime bags of gas. Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I see somebody it, it got, online it with a crazy. trash bag full and filling up 87 octane, and I said, dude, yeah. what are you doing, Well, man? how are you going to get yeah. it out of the trash it's bag like, afterwards? Exactly. Are you going to siphon it out of there? Or... <laughs> But, I mean, like, <laughs> so, so, that's how dumb we are as a species. They're not going to come out and say that aliens exist. No. I'm it's just not going to happen. I'm if just anything, to they're going to ease us into it. Yeah, it could, but, but, I mean, like, they have to say something. And I don't know what that's going to be. It's going to be interesting. I can't wait to well, see. But, but Probably they, something stupid, though. They're going to offset, like, a, a stupid thing that we already knew. Or it won't be completely elaborate. You know what I'm saying? Right. Somebody's going to die. I don't know. <laughs> Somebody, <laughs> so, somebody's going to get knocked off. I don't oh, know. Well, it's going to be another suicide. Who knows, man? I mean, like, ima imagine, like, all the secret spy stuff that's going on behind the scenes right now that you hear about in movies. Like, right, right before some big documents get released to the public. 
about what do they call them UAPs? Yeah. Instead of UFOs yeah. now. UAPs. Once some somebody on here in my uh, live. I forgot your live. No, you're fine. This <laughs> person <laughs> said <laughs> this person's from Maryland, and they said, "I want to know all you guys out there. Please offset question if you don't mind. Tell me, is there a gas shortage in your area? Okay. This person mm. said maybe we should say there is a common sense shortage, so people will." <laughs> <laughs> go look for the uh, for, go look for some. I don't. I agree with that. I agree with that. Oh my gosh! I, Val, valid ooh. statement. It, it it really is getting bad. I mean, it's there's so many stupid people. Like back in the day, man, stupid people got ate by bears. This person yeah. is from Maine and said we don't have any gas. Oh, I don't think the entire somebody somewhere in Maine has to have gas. I mean, they got gas. Got but, I mean, it's probably very short. Like I, right. they're not letting you use or get so much, so many gallons. It's like thirty bucks or something like that. I mean, like they they pay the ransom, and like it's right. all coming back, so it's it's going to be okay. Okay, so can you tell me, fact checker, or you or anybody, yeah. what, what how'd this happen? Okay, because so I don't watch the news. I want to know why what, they're what saying they call there was themselves? gas shortages. Uh, it was, and what happened? I know their emblem is Robin Hood. Yeah, it, but it's not like a Robin. Uh, it's like Blackbird or something. Like elaborate on what exactly went it was, down to it, cause it, this. It was some Russian hackers that hacked into Colonial's. I guess software it was, it was system database. Da- database, and they shut it all they froze down. Everything up so that quit, and that made all the uh, gas coming through that big pipeline just stop because it's all computer uh, controlled by computers now. Yep. Yeah. We're so, pulling a John Connor in here. Too. And, 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 be, and, and that, be but but Colonial had to pay them a ransom. Yeah. In order for them oh. to turn it back on, did they ever say how much? What no, I don't was? think it was ever published. I don't think they ever ransom. disclosed it. Yeah, ransom. You know the lot. government's yeah. in on that, and, trying to figure that out. Yeah. yeah. And, but but apparently, uh, this why they use Robin Hood as their emblem yeah. is somehow they give some of that money to charity. I thought it was all of it to charity. They pulled or, or, or maybe there was a majority steal from rather. the rich and give that, it to the poor right. deal. That's their yeah, mentality. Basically. Yeah. 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 Dude, I'm it, not saying anything it, else. Hey, I don't know what it is. It is getting crazy. Five million dollars. They said. Five million. Yes. That's not a lot. For compared That's to not a gas lot. companies, not, and I dude, gas. you're talking no. about a multi-billion-dollar oil industry, and you asked for five million dollars. Yeah, I'd ask for yeah. more for sure, but it's not me, though. So. Dude, I would have <laughs> asked for five billion. Yeah, uh-huh. yeah. I would definitely done. Maybe oh, they just could... a little bit greedy. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> hey, bro, but, do you, uh, can you can you grab me my drink right there? You don't yeah, care if you I got mind. you. My throat's like I got parched. So, uh, yeah, I think that's an interesting topic. That gas shortage thing. Um, I, uh, but but it's also um, interesting just how stupid people have went about it. I actually seen a thing on Facebook that this person, you know, the the laundry baskets that have the holes on the side. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's trying to fill up one of those. Wow. Yeah, it's impossible. It's got holes in it. <laughs> exactly. Wow. I mean, so. <laughs> it's interesting to see people's like. Just how they think or well, thought well, process, well, process on things and what they're doing. They're I mean, it's crazy. pandemonium. Yeah. Man. Well, whenever the end of the world does happen, it is we are going to not go about it a very good way. Oh, no. <laughs> it is going to be chaos. I'm, you know what? And I got to tell you, <laughs> since you said that, not to get into that, but I want to say I'm glad I live where I live. Yes. Compared to other places I've been visited and toured. Yeah. If the apocalypse happened, that's all I'm going to say. Did you know that a lot of people from big cities have moved around this area now? Really? really? I ain't yep. met nobody. Yeah, <laughs> I ain't nobody. either. I, was, yep. you, you I, know, I got the same old well, Billy. See, see, I got friends that are uh, realtors. Now, these these are these, these are uh, pretty wealthy people. Oh, I'd say. Yeah, and uh, they say, yeah, it's kind of been a boom. Yeah. And, and that's why, you know, the people in these big cities are kind of realizing that whenever stuff hits the fan, yeah. you want to be surrounded by a bunch of hills. You Hypothetically, do. something like that happened, and there was, like, pandemonium, mass hysteria, people freaking out. Everything went down. Stock market crashed. Hypothetically. I would not want to be anywhere else than where I am. Yeah. I mean, I live, I, my population in my town is 964 people. That's including me. Yeah. I'm not going to say where I live. I can't do that. I'm on here. But um, I love that. I'll have a creek it's, stream. I know where a, I know where a gas well is. I know where a, I got a, I got a big old area. You know, I'm like, I know where I'm going. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. It? Yeah, I'm, yeah. We have an awesome place. You know, a lot of people are like, Oh my God! I hate living here. There's not a lot here, but let me. The simple life is actually great. It you is. Know? Well, I mean, the people that actually know how to live off the land, that know mm-hmm. how to grow, that know how to hunt, those are going to be the ones that make it. Uh, my uh, mama yeah, just absolutely. planted all her uh, vegetables and everything, man. And, you know, we got a farm over there in Somerset, and uh, you know, there's a lot of different uh, things. 
that I look forward to being around here than I would anywhere else. I love it here, man. I really yeah. do. Well, I mean, it's it's just so peaceful whenever, if you're having a bad day, you're feeling anxious, whatever, you can go on top of a strip yeah. job and the, just... People don't, on TikTok don't yeah. even know what that is. What exactly. Yeah. exactly. They have no idea. If you That's know what a strip job is. Guns at. Yeah, we shoot guns there. We <laughs> ride horses. We get on side-by-sides, four-wheelers. We have build bonfires. bonfires. Have bonfires. Yeah, yeah. 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 And anything goes too, man. Literally. You don't ever see no cops on top of a strip job. Well, it depends. Yeah, no, I've had no, that happen no, once or twice. <laughs> Are we going to talk about that? No, we can't talk about it, man. <laughs> <laughs> back in my heyday, back in the day, Eric. Yes. Uh, I used to have some fun. We'd go on strip jobs and have a good time and you know, build a big bonfire. And we were out of high school and sher- sheriff, county sheriff came around. I don't know how they got up that mountain, but they did. In a car? Uh, like, yeah, like an it's been years grade. ago. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Everybody's like, cops are your run. Ended up being a buddy we knew. <laughs> <laughs> That's the beauty of living in a small county or a small state or a small area. And yeah, love, man. You know? Everybody knows everybody. Dude, yeah. I, there was this uh, moonshiner that I knew. I'm not going to say where. Well, you really knew like a legit, legit, oh, yeah. legit moon. illegal I knew two, moonshiner? Two of them. Yeah. Two of them. Really? And, and one of them, heck, cops used to buy off of. You know, I mean, it's yeah. it, it's not like, I mean, some criminal activity isn't looked at as criminal activity around here. Right. You know? Yeah. I mean, like, it's it's not like... They let things slide sometimes. Sometimes. Well, 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 they, well they, re- they realize that young people are going to be dumb and young, you know? And that's right. what, you know, that cop realized that night. Yeah. It's... <sighs> and they know everybody knows everybody. It's like, when I was in high school, I couldn't sneak out. Like, somebody would tell my mom every single time, bank on it. Yeah, but, exactly. You know what I mean? Told on you? That's horrible. It's rats. Yeah, they'd be like, he's out, no good. <laughs> I literally did a lot when I was young, too, and had fun. Just, you know, yeah. you know having fun when we were young. But yeah. I agree, you know, living around somewhere that is familiar and everybody knows everybody is a lot better than being in a city. I lived in Florida. Mm-hmm. I've been all over. I went on a West Coast tour last year I told yeah, you about. Yeah, I've seen you went to, uh, what do they call it, Badlands? I went to Badlands. I went to North Dakota. I went to Chicago. I've been all over. I went to Minneapolis where all that riding was going on mm-hmm. and oh. all the windows were locked up. What, you were there like, you during all of that? Yes, like right. Whoa, yeah, I was, didn't know that, Dude, man. it was insane. What was that wow. like? Everything had OSB board and like boards on the windows, and I didn't get out of the car. <laughs> I mean, and I don't blame you. I, did not, you see like people yes. like riding in the street and everything? No, too? no, we didn't. My sister That's did good. it in Louisville, though. She lived. Yeah. Uh, mm. She she had to go take my little nephew to the doctor, and it it was really interesting. Yeah. But it, it, man, it, it got crazy there for a few months. I'm kind of glad yeah. that all all that pandemonium's over. Yeah. It's, it's That's kinda, why I said I love living here. We won't have we wouldn't have nothing like that happen here. No, nah. no. Nah. You know what I'm saying? We are not those kind of people. We are loving, kind, and if I broke down hypothetically, though, hopefully it doesn't ever happen, and broke down the side of the road or ran out of gas, I yeah. know Eli yeah. would stop and help me. Yep. Exactly. But I can't say the same for little big cities I've been in, like Detroit or uh, Well, just Miami. nobody yeah. knows anybody. Unless you, you got AAA, you ain't getting picked right, up. Right, you'd be stranded. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> you, you can walk around that same city three yeah. days in a row, and you're going to meet – like everybody's going to be new, you know. Yeah, you're, you're not going to see the person every time you go out. Yeah, you're not going to recognize anybody. Yep. It's it, it, it's yeah. it's not. I don't see how people can live that way. It's wild, it's, man. it's so chaotic to me mm, to yeah. live in an apartment building with hundreds of people. You, you can't drive know. to work. Yeah, you have to pay to park wherever you're parking at. Get you know? a ta- get an Uber driver. Or a Lyft driver. They don't have yeah. Walmart. They, they can't just they, go to Walmart. They've right. got, uh, not Grubhub, but the other thing here DoorDash. now. DoorDash. DoorDash here yeah. now. Yeah. But we're coming up in the world, by God. We, we got DoorDash, son. <laughs> but I don't, to, to each, I've never tried that. I've yeah. heard it's a little bit expensive. I tried it one time, and don't, I couldn't give directions to the guy. <laughs> because, but you go no, up no, a hall no, and no, turn no, three listen, turns. Because <laughs> he was deaf. Oh, and I didn't. He said he was hard of hearing. He didn't what? say he was deaf. And I was like, "Well, he said he was hard wait, wait, of hearing." I kept trying to call him. Deaf. I was trying to say, what? "Hey, man, I live up this way." He's like, "Just text it to me." So I ended up meeting him at Bond Hill, and he followed me back up. Was, and then, and why then, didn't you just get it from at the bottom of the yeah, hill? Yeah, dude, what happened there? What well, happened? Tell us the rest of the story. It has to be delivered to the actual location. But like, oh, okay. okay. So he gets out of the vehicle, and he's like, "No, he don't say nothing." He's like. Can't speak, you know. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I, I put up a heart. I'm like, I got you, love you. I gave him five dollar tip. I was like, man, I feel horrible. That's why I love that. I know, I know sign language, so like, I it helps a lot. Definitely, I, I didn't. I need I, I'm, I'm very ignorant, and I don't mean this in a mean way. I did not know deaf people were allowed to drive. 
He was. He That's wasn't, okay. No, I he mean, was driving, I'm pretty sure. He had somebody on, uh, in the passenger seat with him. Though. Okay. Well, when wanna, you door dash, you're allowed to have somebody ride with you. Well, I want to capitalize on what he said, but I want to say something else. Okay. I the this grinding my gear situation would have to be if I'm riding down the road. No offense to older people, but they're in front of me and they're going 16 miles under the yes. speed limit, and you got to go somewhere, and you're not flying, and you're not being rude. <laughs> But honey, if you can't drive, you shouldn't be able to drive. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Or calm yeah. down or, or and pull go over, or just pull over. People yeah. over seventy should go get another driver's exam. That's all I'm trying to say. There needs to be. There I need, there there sorry be if you don't. I'm sorry. That's how I feel. It's <laughs> well, dangerous, dangerous. Well, why don't they take that bus? You, you see, how that bus drives around that yeah. takes all the senior the citizens everywhere. I ride that thing, Dude, man. I'll yeah, be I out wouldn't want to drive anywhere. Waste my gas money. Just pick me up, Margaret. Let's go to Double Quick. I mean, heck yeah. And, and I'm not really that hard. You know me for a long time. I'm easy to get along with. You know what I'm saying? Right. But if I'm dead riding, I'm on tour, or I'm driving down the road, go to the store, or anything, somebody bright lights you on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Grinds no. my gears, bro. Yep. Okay. Has that happened yeah. to y'all? Has it happened to y'all? Y'all? I, I'll tell you one thing that really gets me. I, hmm. Like, you know, like, okay. I'm going to have people, like, pull me, <laughs> see my car out and bright light me now. <laughs> just, just, just for. <laughs> yeah, you're, you know, like, down there at Double Quick, how there's, like, the two lanes, and there's that one lane that, like, merges into the other that lane. lane. Like, yeah. how you come down to Mud Creek? Yeah. yeah. I, I can't stand it whenever somebody rides that lane and then is, like, trying to get over with when the traffic backed up. When you're obviously in the up. right lane, and may, but you can't get over. No. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, yeah, well they're trying to get in on just, like, they're just trying to pass the ball the traffic. Oh, all yeah. they're trying to do is trying to be a butthole. Yeah, I, I hate I, people like that. And where are you going in such a hurry, honey? Exactly. Another is, is, it, is it really that important? They're in Cole Run. Yep. That last red light. No, yep, Walmart. Exactly. That Walmart, Walmart intersection where the Gaddy's Land is and all that area. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Where it merges over. Everybody's yep. got to go get gas. Oh, that's horrible. And if you want to go get something to eat over there, you're going to wait 45 minutes in line at Arby's. Yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Hey, yeah. It, it, it's crazy, man. They need like some type of red light or something there. I don't know. Well, I did hear from a bird that they are putting some new restaurants in soon. Are they? Yeah. What type of restaurants? Yes. Uh, Waffle House. No way. Yes. No uh, way. Yeah. We were just no. talking about that the other day, not, man. No. I, don't, I just heard through, Dude, I heard through a person. Don't get my hopes up for another the And house. they're putting another Chick-fil-A in. So. Well, that makes sense. By but, God, we're getting a Chick-fil-A. Dude, man, you know, that, you know what we need? Zaxby's. Yes. I love Zaxby's. We need a Zaxby's, Amen. bro. Amen. Amen. Hold on a minute. I, the, hold the, on. The what is your favorite fast food restaurant? Go. You too. Be real. See, I haven't mm. tried some of them, though. Okay, my, my, my one right now, at this moment, it changes. I can't right. have a favorite. It changes. But at this moment, Tudors. Biscuit World, dude. Is the Biscuit bomb. World is the, the place that's like coming it, home. It has like fried apples and everything's homemade. Yeah. Shout out to Tudors, man. Yeah. Got some good food. If you like breakfast food, I love biscuits and gravy. Yeah, see, right. I, I can eat breakfast three <laughs> times. I can eat breakfast for every meal. And these That's women on tutors. here and these people on here that are all over the world that come on here and go on my TikTok and my social media, mm-hmm. some of them never ever had biscuits and gravy. What? They don't eat yeah. that overseas. Well, yeah. They don't, uh-huh. don't even know what that is. I can, I Dude, can get that. Yeah, I went, I went to New so. York, and uh, they didn't know what it was. Really? Oh, really? Well, yeah, uh, somebody <laughs> I knew, she asked for biscuits and gravy at McDonald's, and they were like, what? I'm like, What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, they had no idea. Sweet tea also. Like, if you go uh, to certain places and ask for sweet tea, they don't know what you're talking about. I had, wow. I had a family what? member. I had wow. a family member that, like, they, they brought out, like, the hot tea yeah. for them because they didn't know what they were talking yeah. about. Dude. Yeah, that's actually happened to me before too. It's it's it's, it's weird. It's crazy. That's why I love the South, man. Kentucky's yeah. still the South, I guess. Yeah. It's kind of right. It's right. It's like the middle We're child, like, in the, like middle. the South and North. We got yeah. the best of both worlds, and I love. Best I love that worlds. because where we live, there's so many great things, and I and that's what that's basically what my song's about. My new one coming out. Yeah, man, it's, it's going, called Where I Am, which is. Kentucky, by God. And it's going to be the uh, 28th of May. Is yeah. That right? You can pre order it right now on iTunes. Uh, quick plug. I want to let you Bam. know on there, please. Uh, but the song, I want to tell you a little bit about it, if it's okay. Yeah, man. Um, he's talking about wanting to take Kentucky and go somewhere else. If I could take Kentucky and move it to this part, place or this place, but you know, you're fine where you're at. Mm. When I mean that, I meant like, you know, there's a lot of other places you could be and a lot of places you can see, but, you know, life to me is like the small town life. I like that. Yeah. And it, it, you know, it plays a lot of. I don't know, a lot of tribute to Kentucky where I was born and raised. You know, we we don't live in Kentucky. We live in eastern Kentucky. My God. If you want to talk about like that. So some people to get on here or get on my social media be like, I'm in Kentucky. But if you're in like, I don't know, Louisville, you're not in the country. You know what nah, I mean? That's, right. that's and, Indiana, basically. You know? <laughs> but, yeah. I'm ready to uh, throw my fishing rod and truck and 
Yeah, man. Oh, it, you it, and me both, man. <laughs> it's, it's, I mean, it's, it's that too. time of year, but it's hot girl summer, as they say Jeez online. Are. Whatever the heck that means. <laughs> Somebody tell me what the hell hot girl summer means, and I'll understand. Uh, I, I just learned. I'm uh, not sure. <laughs> I just learned what bougie meant the other day, and I've already forgot. I don't even don't, know. I what think that it means bad. We don't talk bougie, like that no, around there's here. There's a song called "Bad and Bougie." Uh, oh, I gotta look it up now. Are you from <laughs> Eastern Kentucky, bro? Who? Hey. You. Yeah. See, I, see, I, I live across the road, bro. <laughs> I live, I live right <laughs> Literally <laughs> across the road. Well, see, like, I, I was, uh, I actually grew up in Georgia, man. I came here whenever I was 13. So I, like, y'all made me a hillbilly. Like, I, it, it, yeah. it, it took some time. I was still a city slicker whenever I first moved here. Your and vernacular I, is a little I, different. I, yeah. I learned a lot, man. Okay. Mm. Bougie means you're aspiring to be a higher class than what you are. Now, who came that up is, with this term? That's, that's what way you need to find fancy. out. I don't know. I found it on Urban Dictionary. It's on the. It's in the dictionary now. Urban, Urban, Dictionary. Urban Dictionary. Yeah, that, that, that that's the one where you find the out, dictionary like, for the streets. Okay, well here's another. That's one. what they call you it. Ready? I know that's what I just called it. <laughs> you know, there's a lot of things I can't say, but I gotta say, <laughs> I, I don't think that's a good. I don't think I'll be using bougie. I don't think I'll be. Is saying there any that cool? Like, is there any like a uh, new lingo that you do use? Sometimes Y'all I'll say holler? lit. Lit. Sometimes it's lit. I don't it's say lit. I don't say it's lit. It's lit. Fe- it's like saying fetch. fetch. I don't say fetch. fetch. What's fetch? fetch? You never heard fetch Bro. before, man. Dude, I'm so that I'm, is I'm so fetch. To feel old. <laughs> but by the time like I learn about something new that's hip, it's already not hip. Someone yeah. said I'm in California and I don't even know what the hell that means. Thank you. Fetch. Fetch. <laughs> fetch. What is that? What mean? does fetch mean? I'm fetch. Hey, are you fetching oh. a ball? Cap is a new term. Yeah, for no, a like while. no use cap. A no lot. cap. Some people say that. I think that's no stupid cap. too. Why can't people just You're be stupid. normal? <laughs> <laughs> Why they gotta be like Wait, that, man? What, Not so, judging. So, so, so like no cap basically means like for real. Yeah, like right? no lie. No cap, bro. No, oh my god, like oh, but oh, but no cap. But, got, no but cap. what's the cap? <laughs> my mama. What's the cap? cap. What, what does cap mean? Cap means you're like you're fronting about something. You're like lying about it. Like like. You have this, but you say you have this, but you don't have this. He is down with the street lingo. But, but he's got this. But but see see see. That's I can, why I'm here. I, no I, lid. I get I get fam. Fam comes from family. I get lit because you know like we say like oh Bubby's lit. You know like <laughs> Bubby um, send on up. He's yeah, lit. Bubby got lit up like Christmas tree yeah, last yeah, night. Yeah, that's yeah. that's kind of country. Well, we'll see. Well, well, some of this lingo is you know like bougie's kind of a country term. It's yeah. more more oh, like well, lo- yeah. like Louisiana type. Yeah. But you know like, so, like I, I can I can get <laughs> I can get how uh, some of these words come about i don't get cap that don't make any sense to me i don't get it either bro i mean it's it, i feel I just so want to be old, i'm simple man. i am i'm i feel, 40, like, I feel like i'm fifty thousand years old i'm starting to feel old bro it's, and these kids these days man have you seen these guys that are like 19 years old got these weird looking haircuts with their hair looking like a have you ever seen it it's like weird. a pidgey yeah. yeah man what is going looking on like with a Pokemon that, dude? Up in here yeah i've seen that and i'm confused on it i don't, <laughs> I don't, get, I don't it, get it bro <laughs> we had the z's and we had a lot of bolts with yeah the, we had like our name and they're trying to bring back the mullet now that ain't even that ain't even cool now man. listen cool some well, kids so they just morgan wallen they're, 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 there's a lot see now the morgan wall mullet that's not a mullet that's not okay a good mullet. And, and and that's what the kids are aspiring to be and they're they're just being taught wrong what they want to be at drunk what 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 they need that they need to look at a picture of like 1988 yeah. Billy Ray Cyrus mullet. All right, right. that's when the mullets bow, 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 were bow. beautiful. Yes. Yeah. They yes, had the bro. curls in them. They had some. They had some hairspray in it. That's when a mullet was beautiful. Go that's look what, on Google Images at like 90s family photos mullet. Oh, honey. And click on images. And I it's, bet they it's had the beautiful. starstruck. They got the. Up. They got the windbreakers on. They got mullets. I had a rat tail a that long. Mullet. And I had I had the Z's and the lightning bolts. In my Why'd head. you have a rat tail? I never my got mom, why people done that. My mom, she I love my mother. She's she an Italian woman, really sweet, great woman. Italian? Yeah, my mom is, cool. and uh, she's a sweet woman. And she just uh, she said, you know what, you'd look good with a little bit of hair in the back. And I was like, all right. And I was a big kid anyway, so she would you know. You know, feed me good, and I wouldn't be that yeah. complain. I wouldn't complain that much, but she really did. This, I had the lightning bolt. I'm gonna show you a picture. I'm gonna send it to you. Yeah, okay. please. I please, really did. I, was, I, mean, I can get the lightning bolt, but yeah, it's it's, it's the rat tail, man. I never. I only I only knew one person that had the rat tail. And I, I went to school. Things, for things, things like there was this kid in school. His name was Turtle. <laughs> Turtle, it's really, and he had that. He had the the rat tail in the back. I swear that was his nickname. See, now Everybody that's that, I can now that's normal. You know, somebody named Turtle should have a rat tail. Hey, bulls, old turtles I, I down totally there. get yeah. it. That's a stri- What's the weirdest nickname you've ever heard somebody be called or skater? Skater. Skater. <laughs> yeah. How do they get skater? I don't even want to know. I'll yeah, t- I'll tell you off air. 
Okay. I can't tell you. Yeah, tell me later. That the, was an interesting comment. I, I, I didn't know if you're talking about like the country version or like the little John version. I get it. No, man. no, no, no. Like the country version, like like mosquito. But oh, yeah, you were yeah, okay. I thought never mind. You were totally right pertaining to like you know people saying there's weird words like bougie. That's I want. I'm simple. I'm a simple older guy. I talk like normal people do. I don't know what that means, but that's cool. I have an yeah. 11 year old little girl, and she doesn't say that. Right. Good. I'm sorry, and that's cool if you want to do your thing. I ain't judging on it, but yeah, I just think that uh, you know, in in, in teachers all, you know, like we say tater, we say yeller, we say, yeah. we holler. say holler up in the holler down there, holler, holler. girl, hey, we, we, holler. we say hurricane instead of hurricane. I mean, I guess hurricane. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We're sitting here talking about how everybody else talks. And but we're simple. I ain't got you know? no room to talk. I ain't got no <laughs> word. I ain't got no word bug. <laughs> Bougie. Bougie. You know, or whatever they call it. That's tripping, yo. Tripping. Tripping. <laughs> It's it's a weird world we live in, man, and, 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 and it's and it's only getting weirder, especially technology. Like technology is making it really weird. It's yes, making man. it worse. Yeah. Have, have you have y'all heard of that? Neur- well, I know you've heard of the Neuralink thing. Yeah. Have, have you heard of the Neuralink thing? Yes, I read a. Uh, it was a status someone talking about it. It said something about it could be a possible implant for technology going into a human brain. Yep. From what's yep. his name? Elon Musk. Elon Musk. He was yep. on SNL. I saw that. He he done an all right job too. Yeah. I thought so. He's strange. He is he's strange. very strange. Well, I look up Gen he's, Z Hospital. He's like, scary. Do, do you know what he named his son? Probably Unicorn or Apple or something yeah. weird. Ain't like X Y <laughs> Albuquerque. I have to look it up and <laughs> but, actually like physically show you. I, I want you to meet to my son Albuquerque. Elon Musk. But what they're going to do though is it's a it's a quarter size circle that they drill out in your skull basically and no. they implant this device and no. it's, it's not going to be like for I guess anybody can get it but they're mainly going to focus like paraplegics will be able to walk again okay People maybe that's all, a good thing see, no. see, yeah. see, but 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 it can start out as a good thing and then the wrong person gets a hold of it's it. It's like a side effect. They, there's it, definitely side well, effects they can to hack this. that, yeah. bro? Well, you never know. You know, who, who, they act a whole, uh, oil p- company. Who knows? Right. But that's but, scary, bro. I couldn't is. think of that. But paraplegics no. will be able to walk again. People with Alzheimer's will be able to memorize again. Right. People whose limbs don't function anymore, mm-hmm. they'll be able to get full function of that again. Right. They already put it into a monkey, and it worked. Yeah, it's wild. I don't. I don't know how to respond to that. All I can say is. Wow, it is getting Dude, crazy. It, and you know what? We, they probably already had this a long time ago. Yeah, we, we are yeah. living in the legit future. Yeah. Like, like it, everything that we watched back in the day, they didn't get the iPhone. They didn't predict that. Right. They didn't but, get the flying. <laughs> we we, we didn't get right. flying cars or nothing. But, 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 they, but, but they, they got a fl- the, well. They do have a hoverboard. They have a flying hoverboard. No, they don't. Yeah, they do. I need to catch up. I'm literally. See, I I, I'm, I'm behind, a big science dude. geek, man. Like, I, 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 I like Back to the Future hoverboard. Uh, it, it looks pretty similar. It's like a, uh, it looks like a skateboard. Tony, Tony Hawk it? was trying it out. That's, I, that's, I that's where I've seen it. it. Tony yeah, Hawk. Tony Hawk was trying it out. Mm. Come on, dude. Dude, it is getting crazy. And like, this is just like what we're seeing. Imagine what your daughter is going to see in her lifetime. I'm you know, really that's scared. the crazy stuff yeah. to think yeah. about. I'm not putting nothing in my head. Right. Ever. Yet. In my head. Right. Yet. Not okay. Doing it. Never so know, I got man. Elon Musk's son, uh, his name pulled up. Look at this I got to look at it. I can't say it. Where's that? Okay, so it's hit Elon Musk's son's name is X A E A twelve. Yes. D- didn't it stand for like Ash? Ash. All I gotta yeah, say yeah. is, can we talk about the celebrities' children's names? How strange they are. Stormy. I'm not trying to judge people, but like people naming their kid Apple or a Ferrari or you know weird <laughs> names. I'm like, Northwest. Why? Northwest. Northwest. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine like, how much crap that kid is getting. Hi, my name's Bill. It's my son Butcher Holler. I want you to meet him. <laughs> I mean, come on, man. Well, it's, like, it's like Talladega Nights. This is my son's Walker and Texas Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> we want him to be sissies. We name him Doctor Quinn. And Medicine Woman. <laughs> <Literally>. <laughs> One of the greatest movies That's made good. of all time. Uh, uh, Frank Zappa, man, he his his kids had some really weird names. Um, I'm trying to remember what one of them was. They're, it is really interesting to talk about, though, because people that are more famous, it's, I mean, like Kanye West, Kim Kardashian, all of them, they have weird names. One was called Moon. One was called Dweezil. The other one was called Diva. Deep. The other one was called Amit. Is that how you say Amit? it? Yeah. Amit? Yeah. 
I mean, I'm not judging, but it's just strange. That though, is strange. It's really strange. weird. He was a weird guy, though. Yeah, he was really Frank out Zappa. there. Zappa? Zappa? I think I don't, Zappa. I don't Zappa? know. I don't know. No quote me on that. My daughter's, my daughter's name is Rowan. R-O-W-A-N-F for Rowan Tree. Like Ireland Rowan Tree. And then my son's name is Easton. But I don't, I'm not going to call him Easton Ferrari. You know, Apple or something. I mean, his name is he. You know what I'm saying? This is Eastern for Ferrari. Yeah. <laughs> but imagine like one day your daughter's going to be rowing a boat. <laughs> her real name's Elizabeth, but that's what we call her uh, is, uh, is rowing. I think it's interesting, but like naming your kid Northwest is really, really strange. That's Man, pretty out there. That's that that would be like, that's that's kind of a hard thing to go about, though, is like naming your child. Because like, it, 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 like, I mean, that's... yeah. It really makes who they are as a person, mm-hmm. you know. Like yeah, that's their identity. I, yeah, like like, like Ted. That's Ted scary. is going to be a bus driver. Oh yeah, or, or a janitor, librarian, or a lab. Yeah, or a something like killer. that. And the way that we are or now, killer, the way yeah. that we were we were raised is going to be completely different from the way that it'll be obsolete. Their kids are raised because when I was young, it wasn't like it is now. We didn't have TikTok. No. We had the Razor flip phone, man. Yeah, man. Which I was cool. Things. Did you have the Razor flip phone? Hell yeah. What color was it, man? Did it, you have... it was black, but I had a UK case on it, so it was blue. <laughs> you had a black one? <laughs> no, not black. It was a. Uh, Listen. It was like the gunmetal looking one. It was the gray. Oh, like the gray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I loved the Razor. Cool. I was cool. And it took 12 minutes to send it. one text. I love it. And, yeah. and, and you had to pay for it, too. Like, I mean, yeah. if you went over your texting limit, you yeah. had to pay for extra texting. And also, uh, f- past 9 o'clock, whenever the calling oh was free. Oh, my God, yes. Yeah, man. Yes. <laughs> it might be on the phone like, hey, Reggie, what's up, man? I'm on... yes. <laughs> yeah. it's, people don't remember that. Yeah. These kids have it so good. Unlimited yeah, data. Listen. Unlimited we, data is we, expensive. We, they don't even know what dial-up is. No. no. We used to, we used DSL. To have, we used to have to buy yes. those like little $15 cards at Rite Aid to get more minutes to put on your phone. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, man. The flip phone was it, dude. And then LG came out. But my point was on that is that we had it a lot simpler. Yeah. They got it a lot easier. Yeah. And when I was younger, I mean, we didn't do anything. They, they're they doing no. this this dancing thing. And yeah. this, uh, there's a lot. I mean, just a million different there's things. There's a lot of young kids getting into art these days. Like, yeah. like yeah. intricate, like very good looking art. Yeah, it's really cool, too. It, it is, intricate. man. It's awesome. It's a great word. Thank you, sir. I think that's interesting. I really do. But well, it's just the kids. I'm a dad, and I'm telling you, kids these days have no idea how we did it. But we're simple. We're lucky know? to be alive. But, but, I'm, but I'm, <laughs> hey, listen, that's how it was, man. You grew was up. Fun, you broke though. your leg. Put some robotussin on it. You're good. Let's go. Yeah, you fall off a tree. You just kind of walk it off and walk get it. Up. Honey, you're good. Let's yeah, go to good. Walmart. Yeah, okay. exactly. I, I, th- I think that it'll actually like be a uh, good future, though. Like. Do yeah. y'all think like kids seem to be like a little bit more compassionate? No, I, I don't mean to be rude, but I feel like, and I'm a father. Yeah. I feel like kids these days are really touchy, and I think that kids these days aren't very understanding, and they're spoiled. A lot of them these days compared yeah. to technology, yeah. because we didn't have any. If you wanted to talk to somebody, you called them or you ICQ'd them, which right. you probably didn't even have that. But yeah. I had yeah. ICQ, but now they just hey, text somebody well. or Snapchat them. Snapchatted. Is yeah. it, it, I, I think that like I, I re- I'm not going to say the word that most of them are, but uh, you, you the, the, I'm sorry. Statistically speaking, there are a lot of children out there that are spoiled and they don't know. You know, see, we, I, I grew up. I didn't have yeah, a lot. But yeah, like, but we know? but we were also spoiled compared to everybody else that came before That's us. That's true too. In a way, agree yeah. to disagree. It, it, just, it, but but like I think that it gives me a little bit of hope of the future, man. To see how some kids are a little bit more. Compassionate, but my yeah. mom, was, seems to, my mom would be like, "You don't know how good you got it. I had to walk seventy four miles in snow uphill both ways to go to school." I'm like, "Mom, there ain't no way you lying no. like that. Why do you gotta tell me fibs, man? <laughs> tell the truth." She's like, "No, uphill in the snow during a thunderstorm." I broke my leg and walked sixty four miles home. I'm like. Why? Yeah. Did you what happen? Reason? What why, did you do? Why, why'd you go home? Why didn't you go to the hospital? Yeah. Where did but, the cops come in at? Tell yeah. me about this. They, they had it rough back then, that's man. And, and for everybody else, they're like, see, like I used to be one of those people that's like, oh, live off the land. You know, let's yeah. go back. No society. Yada, yada, yada. Mm-hmm. People forget how hard life was to live back yeah. then. Yeah. And I mean, yeah, that's a very romantic idea. But if you got gang green, you know. You were you gone. gone. You're if, gone. If you got the flu, you got polio, and all that Although stuff was killed, man. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Like the, the life expectancy like was like 20s, 30s. Penicillin didn't come out until later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, people forgot. Like It, it was barbaric back then. So like, mm-hmm. we are very lucky. Man, we are the luckiest people to be alive right now. Yeah, yeah we, optimistic. We yeah, definitely. Yeah. I agree yeah. with that. And man, we, like, it's just such a weird time. 
to be alive. And, and like you were kind of caught between eras too. Yeah, it's well, weird. It, it is weird because like I grew up like I grew up playing in the mud and stuff like that. That's right. and, good for you and, too. And, oh, right, it was. Exactly. But but then like right around thirteen was when the internet first yeah. came into play. So you so, had the so, ICQ and all that. Yes. Yeah, so, okay. so so like yeah. all throughout my middle school and high school years, I grew up with the technology area era. So like right. half of my childhood was playing GI Joe with my friends. Yeah, Power and, Rangers. And, yeah, and the oh, other yeah. half was spent on YouTube and AOL. And MySpace and all that. So I'm, Dude, I, I'm right in the, I'm right, I'm right 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 in the middle, man. Yeah. I don't know where I belong. You know, like I'm, yeah. I'm technically a millennial, yeah. but only by like one year. Yeah. You know, or yeah. h- however they How old are you? dated on there. I'm 25. I'm 30, about to be 26. I'm 34. So I'm an 80s baby. Wow. So yeah, we had a, a lot of fun doing that. <laughs> it, but, but I mean, the, the kids though, I think that they just don't need to take it for granted. Mm. And that's what I think that a lot of them are doing. Yeah. It's like, yeah, they're a little bit more compassionate and caring, it seems like. But they well, also just seem to be like taking it, just taking advantage of everything. They're very sensible too, though. Yeah. Like, so, see, like, that's what's made stand-up comedy a lot harder. Comedy in general. Yeah. Like, when's the last time you've seen a good comedy movie? You know? Long time. I'm, I was going to say, when Probably I was young, I watched a lot of comedy and... And uh, I've always been a movie buff, just like you, you know. And yeah. that's what my mom was like, watch a movie, watch a movie. So yeah, I know every, you know, I love mm-hmm. that stuff. But when's yeah. like last time, like a good raunchy comedy that really like went for it? You know, like we grew up on like Talladega American Pie. Nights. The interview. The, 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 about the, cause of war. Well, yeah, the, the interview was good. But even then, like, the interview was like, that's like 2015, 16. If we're talking yeah, about when right? I was younger, American, yeah. no, I'm, American I'm, Pie was good. But no, now, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about like recently. Like, there's not a lot of movies like that anymore. There's not, man. A couple. There, I don't know of any. Not like mind, Liar really. Liar or like. Uh, no, I'm talking about like raunchy movies that raunchy? like push the like envelope. Wild, wild stuff. You know, like like uh, Sausage Party. That okay, I haven't yeah. seen that. But but even yet. then, that's like mm-hmm. that's still a few years ago. Like like in the last three years, you haven't seen like any movies like no, that. They, they've all been we have contained. we have seen a lot of. I don't know. It's just Did, a lot of romantic bull crap. Yeah, but yeah. see, like they can't. They. I don't even. Know, I don't even know if a movie like, like Step Brothers can be yeah. made nowadays. Well, they said they're going to do a number two, but they never did it. Right. And I think COVID hit, and then uh, everything just went to heck on that. Well, but. I remember he put his, you know, on the on the <laughs> on drum, drum set. Did you touch and, my drum set? And, 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 I know you touched my drum stick. And they showed it because the left one has a they chip did in show it. it. Yeah, they they, they showed it. That. Like anybody, that rem- like they sh- they went for it. <laughs> yeah, you know, did. nope, you can't do that nowadays. No, no. man, people. Are very uh, touchy, and I, I mean it's honest, and everybody can disagree or agree. People are very touchy with things lately. Uh, it's just how people are. You know? I, I, it, but it's you I don't think that's anything. a good thing, man. No, I, it's not. So, no. Y- you need I don't think th- you need to know how to take a joke, know yeah. how to take someone's humor. Humor makes the world go around for me, absolutely, and boosts my serotonin and makes me feel great. And well, I like yeah. to laugh. And well, if you, you don't, you I'm not. sorry. You need to toughen yourself mm-hmm. up a little bit because yeah, because the real world is tough. You absolutely. know, you have to learn how to deal with confrontation mm-hmm. or somebody giving you constructive criticism or just criticism in general. Right. You know, and a lot of these kids are so babied whenever they're growing up, they don't know how to be told no right. later they on in life. No. That thing, it, it's like you hate them if you say no, you can't do it. It's like, oh, well, you hate me, I have to leave. And I was like, no, I just don't do that. I, I exactly. just, I just want, you know, I want to be the best dad I can be, you know, and I want to raise my kids to, you know, respect other kids and respect everyone around them. I think that's important to have respect. You yes. Know? You know, don't. A lot of people don't realize how much things are going to change later on. You're right about that. <laughs> things are going to get a lot different. Yeah, man. But, it's already uh, weird. Y'all let my daughter watch, me and her, that's our favorite thing to do is we watch good movies. So we watch mm-hmm. things, you know. So I watched every Harry Potter in three days. Nice. Jesus. <sighs> Did, do you like Harry Potter? Not now. But we're oh. going to talk about it, okay? <laughs> okay. She loves that whole aspect, the whole deal with Harry Potter. She's liking the Drake, Drake Malfoy. Drake, Drake Malfoy, yeah. yeah loves yeah. that. She's 11 years old, loves it. Uh-huh. And she said, uh, Dad, we're going to watch every one. So I went on, went to Sling TV. Yeah, ordered it. We watched them. I watched them one, two, three. They were good. Yeah, but literally, don't do a marathon, man. Oh, it, bur- <laughs> it burns you out, man. Yeah. I was like, I was, I was waking up going, a spectrum of Jonah. That's funny. You, you can get burnt out on anything. Yeah. Do you, did y'all, you ever see that one video on the internet? Like it shows, I guess like, do they call it a portal? Whatever, like mm-hmm. opens up on that brick wall. 
or it's whatever. Where they, uh, platform nine three quarters. Whatever, yeah. Where they're going. Yeah. 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 But that, that's an actual real place. Somebody yeah. ran into the wall. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Bam. They didn't want him to come in there. <laughs> nah. That was great. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad stupid people exist, Me man. Me too, man. We, we, we need stupid people in the world. I think it's funny like that movies uh, compared to how you were a kid to now changes. <laughs> like your mentality about it. Like, why is there a woman living with seven little men in a house? Why why was Quell Deville trying to kill these dogs? And I was watching this yeah. when I was a kid. Isn't that yeah, weird, yeah, dude? Yeah. Or is that just me? No, nah, I get I mean, this. Like, what no, was the purpose of that? What, like, what was the thought process behind her? Of, yeah. Of that? And I, <laughs> well, I just wanted to touch base on that because I was, I was asking my friends about it the other day. I was like, why did that Bambi's mom got killed before the credits started dude, rolling? That, yeah, yeah, really. that, that was graphic. And man. I was nine. Fox and the Hound, bro. Fox yeah. and the Hound was sad. That, that messed me that's up for a while. so depressing. <laughs> why were why was Disney so depressing? I don't Disney know. got dark there for a bit. They were it weird, did, man. Didn't it? They I really agree, did. They were in the early two thousands and and the nineties when they really got dark. But you think of your mentality as an adult compared to a you know a kid, and you're like, man. Half of this stuff is probably no offense to Disney. I watch Disney. I've Disney right. Plus, but it's that. really interesting to think of <laughs> why is there a woman doing this? Why right. is this happening? Right. Have y'all seen like the hidden stuff in Disney movies? Uh, yeah, like yes. Easter eggs yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. You've seen the Toy VHS Story. Are you talking yeah. about the chemical compound? No, the shadow. Mm-mm. Yeah. What's that? I'll show you off there. We shall see it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, that that they're weird, man. They even it's, have this. What's do you do you know about that one place at Disney World that like you have to be a member to get in? It's yeah. like they have, club. Underground, yes. they have underground tunnels there. I have a friend that works there. I'm not gonna say his name. They have underground tunnels there. They have a lot, a lot invested. Wait. What do, they have, what do they say about the underground tunnels? Why why do they have, they have underground to, tunnels? For the, for the people that are dressed up in costume and stuff like that, you know, they ha- they can't be seen when they take off their, you know, it's right. freak kids out. Oh, uh, God, r- Mickey Mouse's head's gone. Right, right, right. But uh, there's a lot of different things that, that I didn't even know about that I was told. I'm not supposed to know. But mm-hmm. some of the things that was really interesting about Disney World or Disneyland, Disney World, is that the way that they do color formation from what – the way that it's painted, the way that the roads are shaped, the way that things are, are yes. all done the way they're supposed to be. It's not an accident. I they're know. doing those things. They have heated roads. What? Yes. Yeah. What? Yeah. To make people buy drinks. I'm not joking. Look it up if you don't believe And they have colors no that make you want to stay there, They too. have colors no that are more at, like, that's, that that's not, I'm not the, kidding. The heated, the heated roads. Also, they have, uh, this is crazy, but, um, well, you got McDonald's, right? McDonald's has the what? Golden arches. Yeah. What color? Are, what color are the gold? They're gold, right? The yeah. gold is orange. Yellow, whatever, yeah. Orangish yellow color. Yellow is a food color. A lot of people want to eat when they see the color yellow. Now look it up. That's that's, statistically. That's, that's a fact. It is. Because yellow True. is, uh, it triggers your brain to think happy. And when you eat, for some reason, it releases dopamine in your brain that makes you happy, feel yep. happy. No joke. So, so that's my point is with that. advertisement marketing, uh, the way that they're doing things like that down there in uh, Orlando is that they're trying, they market everything the right way. They, everything Dude, that's happens, psychological. Um, they do Very that much. psychologically. Very much. Yes. The colors make you want to stay there. The I couldn't find anything. Just it's now a, about the, it's well, a, a that's the billion dollar the, company. Well, that's why they don't have like the no. windows and casinos. Yeah, yeah that, right. that's like, or so any clocks anywhere. Yeah. Right. Man. Because they want you to lose track of time. They want you uh, to lose all your money. They it's want, so yeah. creepy how smart <laughs> these big businesses are. Companies are very, they There's don't get so rich. Much thought Nobody it. wins at the casino, man. The house always wins. Otherwise, the lots wouldn't stay on. Exactly. You know what I'm I've been gambling before. Right. I don't do that no more. But let me tell you something. Literally. Everything happens the way they want it to happen. Everything is not an accident. And I'm telling you, Disney World, that's... Is that legit about the heated roads? I'm not joking, I couldn't find anything about it, but I've heard about that before. Have you really? Yes. Yeah, my buddy that worked there, he literally worked there. And he said that was one of the things that... um, That's creepy. And not just that, but the way they they made the colors and the way they made everything in the entrance was designed a specific way for you to be enticed and want to do things like go certain places. Everything wouldn't just say it's like Walmart. Walmart does right. it too. Right. When you first go in, what do you see? Uh, TVs. But you get your buggy, your buggy and then you yeah. start our shopping cart. Right. You walk through. What do you see? Oh, just, they have like produce and stuff. No. And like, if you're on the, let's say you're on the other side and you're walking through, what do they have? I don't know. Sales, clearance items, everything yes. up oh, front. Okay. They're wanting to what they call POP. They want to push that. Right. So when they're pushing things in front of you. Your mind doesn't even think this, but you go to the front, You first thing you see, you're probably going to want it. You right. know what I'm saying? So everything hmm. they want to sell that is mass marketing, 
They want to sell that put in front of your eyes before anything. It's just part of well, sales. Yeah. Okay, I, I've heard that about like uh, retail stores. Like they'll yeah. put the most expensive stuff here in front of eye level, right. and the cheaper stuff is, on the is at the bottom. Yeah, that's yes. why yeah. great values on the bottom, man. I don't want the exactly. mayo. Exactly, <laughs> man. It's, and my back is about broke from getting under there. I feel you. <laughs> but it's man, that that is creepy. I, is ain't Walt Disney froze? Is he still froze? What's they going on? Brain is froze or something like that, right? His head. His head, His head? Okay. which doesn't make much sense, but I think there's some interesting theory on that, and I think that there is some things we can't. I'm sure there's places in that park. I think when that they you would not be able to get to, and if you did, they wouldn't want yeah. you to see. Well, that's what I was saying. Like they had this club there that uh, you have to pay thousands of dollars to become a member, and uh, I mean presidents are in it. Like it's, it's not it's, a yeah, body JF, or nothing. JFK was in it. Yeah, yeah. This mm. is a legit thing at Disney World. Uh, if you don't mind looking it up, it's clubs. Right, it's club something in like you club can, 33. Club 33. It, okay, this is a I'm real thing. You, you can see pictures of it. Like there's there's a, yeah yeah like it's a real place, but you can't see the um, inside. You were wrong about the money. Uh, I pay about a 25 grand initiation fee, then mm-hmm. 10 thousand a year to retain that what? membership. Yep. Yep, you gotta be the balling, food, The bro. food inside and, a club uh, costs a pretty penny as well, with five course dinners priced above a hundred dollars. A hundred dollars is a bare minimum. Wow. I've never been to Disney World and I live 45 minutes from there for about two years. Why'd you never go? I worked yeah. all the time. I didn't have time to go to Disney World. Yeah, because you, yeah, you need to take like a week off to be able to go yeah. to that place. And I still want to go no matter how evil I it is. I want to go too much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm Hall- Halloween Horror Nights. Definitely want to go Did there. you see the Club 33? I didn't see the Club 33, but I've seen like Walt, Walt Disney's old house, man. It's weird. It's like, Wait, his house is there? Yeah. Yeah, dude. He I lived on the property. Why did he live in the castle? No, it's right there on the front square. That the weird castle. thing is, they have like a shadow with him walking. Yeah, there's not good, this weird stuff, man. In the windows. It's really place. scary. It's weird. I seen it when I was, it was, it was my 10th birthday. That's, you, that's what I went for. Oh, that, that is weird. Crazy. I was going to say, what are you drinking? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> well, Water. They actually designed that castle from the new Swanstein Castle in uh, Germany. Yeah, and my dad's really, been to that. My mother lived in, and was born in Germany. So she lived in, uh, or she lived in Augsburg. She was born there. And she used to go to that castle, and she like showed me pictures and stuff. And I was like, man, I'd love to go check that Whoa. out. Yeah, so my fun. goal is to take my mother, mother to Germany one day, and I want to walk in there with her. <laughs> that, that, that's cool. What, one, uh, this is what my dad and them done, and uh, you and your mom can do this. They do like a wine tour thing, like you, like you ride a ferry boat. But you went to Germany? No, my dad did. He oh. was he was stationed there, mm-hmm. but. Um, they it's like this like boat ride where you drink wine and stuff like that and you visit a lot of the castles mm. and that's where he, when he got to go see so the castle. So the swans, well, the reason they call that is because it, there's like this huge thing where back in the day apparently an old wise tale there was a man that, the king that lived in the castle and he rode a dr- giant swan in the back of this lake behind the ca- uh, the castle apparently I didn't know that huh. but yeah my mom told me about it and uh, man I really want to check that out. It's crazy castles are still a thing. Dude, you should oh, see yeah. inside of that castle. Do you show you? The, the bed, the king's bed, is made of like, it has obviously has wood, but it's like all carved and beautiful, like unbelievable flowers and like angels. Like It is unreal, dude. It's so big. Oh. You have to wear a certain specific kind of shoes to go walk. Yeah, you can't walk in your shoes. Yeah, They give you shoes to walk in. What? Yeah, and just a bunch really? of weird. Yeah, it's crazy, man. It's unreal. You look it up, man. It's uh, really I mean, awesome. <sighs> It's, Germany is such a weird place. I don't know a lot about Germany. I like to. I, like hey, to every, I mean, I know they've done some bad things, you know. But like, I mean, it's, uh, things have changed. You know, we'll do, that, that was quite we'll a while ago. Let's go so. to Europe. We'll go to Euro trip, man. I'm, I'm willing to forgive Germany to check out All some right. of their castles. You know, let's tie on these past two subjects. Did you ever see the Mickey Mouse episode that included? That was during World War One. Yeah, I did not. Can we yeah. elaborate? Or two, on that? two. Rather, what was sorry. that about? Okay, so. There were Nazi uh, soldiers that were uh, the opposition of Mickey Mouse, right? Okay, in the actual cartoon. Yes, and wow, uh, like it, they play, made them look really stupid. Made the Nazis look really stupid. So like they come through this little bunker, and there'd be Mickey, and he'd be bonking them on the head. You know what I mean? Hitler got <laughs> mad about it mm. and made them like not uh, air it at all. Really, anywhere. That's and he, crazy, and he bought man. every copy of it. That's nuts. And dude. he had and he had the sole like uh what's the word for it? He just had all he, the he copies. had sole possession of it. Yeah. Like he had wow. possession of so it. That's a real fact. That yes. really is, yes. that's control if I ever heard it. And Ain't it? Yeah. That's crazy. That's a that's a fact. Yes. Wow. Uh, apparently yes. they done stuff like that back then to like 
get people interested in joining the war. Yeah, like, like that. Yeah. They yeah. Yeah. just like whatever's yeah. important Uncle's, at the time. Yeah, Uncle yeah. Sam. and yeah, yeah. And, and that's how like you were talking earlier about the creative marketing. Yeah. That's how they got people to join the military. Advertisements, back then. baby. Right. Yep, yep. Let's subliminal messaging. <laughs> I think that's crazy. I do too. It's a weird it's world true, we live though, because I worked in sales for years. We do that. They do that. It's but it's, but it's, it's it's crazy that like Disney, they're on a totally different level. I wonder if that's why McDonald's fries are like golden. Why do you think the arches are golden and it's red, red and golden? Well, it's, it's well red contact. grabs your attention. It's eye, yeah, it's yeah. red. They both draw uh, your eye whenever you see it. Yeah, especially red because that's why they use it on stop signs, right. stuff like that. I I know I knew about the red and yellow is happy. They yeah. have happy meals. Think about that for a second. Happy meal. When's the last time you had a happy meal? Dudes? I was thinking about getting one earlier today. Are you today. serious? They what? had little teeny babies. We had cool toys. Now they got crap. Yeah. I'm talking about like we had, I mean, Wait, there was a, cool, I worked man. at McDonald's the first job I ever had. Yeah. I won't say where, but I did. And they had a building out back of the McDonald's, had every toy from all 80s and 90s in it. Really? I swear. That's Not crazy. Long. They man. kept them in there. They didn't have nowhere to put them. Dude, they could make a wow. fortune off of that. We now, should go probably. find that building. <laughs> I was going to find that building for real. <laughs> People pay a lot of money. What, man? That'd be cool for them to bring back those V. Yeah. Well, they won't bring, bring back VHS tapes. No. Uh, but, like, they the, can. All the Mickey. Uh, not Mickey Mouse, but. Uh, the Ronald McDonald. Uh, yeah, I've got things. where it goes to space. The VHS tapes. Do you yeah. have VHS McDonald tapes? Yes. We used to have a probably McDonald's. Money. Listen, I, I had a McDonald's birthday party when I was a kid. Did you? Yeah. Oh, we yeah, had the, we call, the did. Yeah, straws man. that drop in the cup. Did y'all do that crap? Yep. And yep. then we did. They had the actual Dang, McDonald's I forgot about cake, that. man. Oh, yeah, dude. There's, bro, you there's, just unlocked a memory in my brain. <laughs> there's <laughs> still a few McDonald's that do the McDonald's cake. Really? You just have to find them. They have dude, McDonald's wow. cakes. They used to have McDonald's pizzas. And, uh, no the, way! Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they have, they, now they still do. I in never New York. had a pizza, bro. They do in New York still. Yeah, the, and there was two places, wow. and there and, and one I think was in West Virginia. Yeah. I think it was, but they closed down a few years ago. That's crazy. Like, like, like whenever I think me and him it wasn't me and you found out about it, and yeah. we were and we, we were, were going to go, go. <laughs> and then just like a few <laughs> months <laughs> after, and then a few months after that, that's when that location stopped serving yeah. the pizzas. But at one time they was had McDonald's good? pizzas. We didn't get to go. You, you ever, ever seen I mean, like anything about them? You know, like the Subway. Uh, pizzas that they yeah, had little yeah. smalls that's what they looked like yeah I, I don't mind I don't really have McDonald's I'm more of a, like a Chick-fil-A or a Subway kind of guy I feel you um, yeah. it depends on my mood you know you but, know they got the Chick-fil-A sauce now yeah at Walmart yeah, yeah, yeah. I already bought it <laughs> way ahead of you God, I, need, I need to pick some up it is so is it there, it's there now yeah man I, I got some just the other day that's funny but man, unfortunately, we got to wrap it up. This has been fun, though. Dude, this, this has been a lot wild. of fun. We'll have to do it again. Hey, for everybody that wants to check out the music and also the new single, tour dates, all that good stuff, let the folks know. Yeah, go on TikTok, type in Bill Dotson Music, check me out. Please follow me. Um, if you want to go on Instagram, follow me there. You can go to iTunes, AHA Radio, Pandora Plus, uh, Spotify, go download and stream my new song, Where I Am. You can literally pre order right now to be out on the 28th. Go check it out, man. There you go, folks. Thanks so much. Ladies and gentlemen, awesome. Mr. Bill Dotson and Mr. Alex Barnes. Stay classy. Always. See y'all next week, folks. Peace. Oh, that was fun. History. That was awesome. History.